giving a quick update on my build um, version 1.1 I haven't made a whole lot of changes I've changed around one feet um, a few pieces of gear and pretty much that's it it stayed pretty much the same uh, did make a mistake on the last video didn't have fate singer trained properly and a few guildies and people pointed that out thank you for that um, you want to make sure this is trained here it gives 50% more sonic damage um, to your epic strike very important um, on the last video I had untouchable trained I decided to train out of that get some more damage uh, and change that around a little bit and this is my new setup the gear I have changed right now I had the wrong ring equipped um, I have my artifact ring I got lucky and pulled it that's in my ring slot there and let me show you what I have on it I put insightful wisdom perfect silence and dex 14 uh, my filigree I added one filigree long shadow attack and damage that gives me a three piece set it gives me an extra plus two imbue pretty nice little bonus there not gonna complain Um, changed around my goggles. Alright, got the goggles of the archer. Got a nice reaper boosted pair. Put a nice curse on it. True seeing. I like that. Okay. Put the same gems, uh, same augments on as my last goggles. Damage and perfect silence. Um, my next slot, what I had before, was um, my... Uh, artifact on this I went and ended up getting this necklace the reason is um, insightful magnetism 74 to electric spell power so very nice spell power boost okay which is important when you're running already um, in views put the festum wisdom and spellcraft on that um, and that's pretty much all I have changed on this setup. Um, started running ooze for the most part. Have to switch to vulnerability when we're doing the new raid um, on Reaper. I'm not really bothering with it on hard. Hard doesn't do much damage on the booms, but on Reaper, yeah, you want to switch to um, vulnerability for sure. Um, why ooze tar? Oh, uh, gives because when soloing, it just gives a little bit more of a uh, something else to attack you know what I mean um, somebody was asking about my augments I can't remember if I shared augments on my weapons think I did maybe didn't search through the video maybe I forgot to post them so I'll go through them again um, changed one augment on my rune arm legendary arrow bound topaz stays the same I got rid of the spell points Okay, I got I had in some spell points in my yellow slot. I replaced it with constitution and on my um, actual weapon I have good and then I updated it with the latest magnetism for as much spell power to my imbues as possible. I did change around my gem with the new raid. I decided to put fire absorption and electric absorption on it. Um, nice little change. I do plan on pushing the new raid. I am planning on pushing it higher Reaper. So yeah, you're going to want Fire Absorb. And Fire Absorb is very nice to have. Same with Electric Absorb. If you're running KT, RTSO, MA. I mean, there's so much that uses fire and electricity damage. Um, yeah, it's it's you, you, it's it's nice to have. Um, as for new gear sets, am I changing anything else? I don't really think so. Um, I'm looking at the new gear sets and no matter how I swing it, it just seems like I'm going to lose so much damage on this thing by going to a new gear set. Um, if you look at all the things on Sorakel, I mean 25 universal spell power, you've, I'm going to have to change my necklace around 75 or 74 magnetism. I mean we're talking about 100. Um, we're talking about 100 spell power and then that's not even including the universal spell power I have from the dino set so yeah we're over a hundred spell power that's a huge DPS loss and the only thing I'd really be netting from the new gear set 
is four wisdom. Now, if this was a split build and I didn't care about spell power, yeah, I'd be running a new gear sets. But this on this particular build, yeah, it's a huge loss, and I really don't want to switch gear sets. Um, yeah, it doesn't work well on pure arty from what I can tell so far. So I'm going to be keeping this current setup. Um, because I got this curse on my goggles, Visionary allowed me to train out of Eyes of the Eagle on Falconry. And I believe I picked up some more physical resistance. Um, I don't think this has changed since the last video. Maybe the only thing that has changed is coordinated shot. Um, got rid of some of the insta-kill stuff. This is Mark Prey. It's, it's nice, but too much cooldowns, and I'm not going to bother with it anymore. I'd rather just have the coordinated um, shot, and I feel like the build's doing better with this setup. Uh, I had some people asking me about why I don't train Tier 5 Battle Engineer. Well, I train Tier 5 Falconry just because it's tankier. Um, tier 5 Battle Engineer, you, I, I've tested the build out and you lose 500 hit points which is a lot especially when you're soloing um you gain a lot of um you know range power you gain some imbue dice so it's not a horrible setup you know um i have different variations of this build i run this is my normal everyday variation soloing uh, it's built for soloing and two manning you know that's that's all this is built for it's um i do have different variations for you know, stuff to maximize DPS, stuff to maximize, um, st stuff to run on raid pushes instead. You know, this build completely changes when I run raid pushes. Um, so if you guys would like to see it, I'll make a version 1.2 on it. This video is going to be named version 1.1. Trying to think if there's anything else I haven't told you. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, let's check out my imbued dice. What do I have it at? Let's see, sneak 8d6, imbued dice, 15. I did, oh, I forgot to tell you, I took the feet because on these goggles I had the sun augment. I forgot to tell you that. Enduring, 10% um, legendary bonus to maximum hit points. Yeah, I was able to take, get rid of the Titan's blood feet, and let's see what I took instead. Arcane actions, 15 competence bonus to universal spell power, plus two imbued dice for six seconds, huge DPS boost, you know. Um, and to show what imbued dice I am running at, max power. Uh, let's see, elemental weapons, and we'll run a boost. 19. That seems low. I thought I was getting up to 21. Oh, I was getting up to 21 in a different uh, variation of this build. But yeah, in my solo setup, I'm buffing up to 19 and over 800 spell power and Reaper fully buffed on the electric. So yeah, not too shabby. But, uh, yeah, that's all I've got on this one. This video is going to be named version 1.1, and I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you all.